Hey guys, Brennan, by the way, that audio guide. Today I'm going to show you how to save a lot of time by setting up a template in Pro Tools. Now, this is basically saying, okay, I found that when I record, I usually have vocal tracks, drum tracks, all this stuff, and I'm tired of putting them in the spots over and over. So if you set up a template, then when you open that template up, then it will always pull up those settings. So let's say we have five tracks that we always create, and they're always mono. And we also have uh, two stereo instrument tracks that we always have every single time. And of course, you want to have a stereo master fader. And I usually like to have five buses that will go stereo. All right. So I know that I like to preview all of my tracks on medium. So I'm going to hold option and click medium, right click and click that. And then of course we are going to name these tracks. So let's say vocals and this guy guitar and so on. So I know that these are always routed accordingly and I'm going to always record out of input one because that's where my mic is set up. So no matter what I record, it will always be routed properly. And of course you can set this up to how you want it. And I know that I always like to see my inserts, A through E, and also my sends. And let's get rid of those comments. And then of course I know that I always like to use, let's say, my contact. I know that that's always a plugin that I always have on my instruments. And it's something that I will use every single time. So I'll have that opened up. And I can also say, okay, I know that every single time I open these tracks, I use the same compressor, the same EQ. So I'm just going to go ahead and put those on. So let's just throw on the EQ. And I'm going to copy that across every single track. Okay, so you get the picture. So basically, you set up these templates and have everything routed how you like them. You know, you can change the bus to maybe reverb. Put on your favorite reverb that you always use. And then of course route that so it's one and two. So then you know every time I open my template and I wanna send something to my favorite reverb, all I have to do is say, all right, I'm going to send this guy to my reverb. And you don't even have to think. You don't think, what was that plugin? What was that bus? What was that being routed to? You just know, okay, every time it's that reverb, every time it's that delay. And you know that every time you open your project, it's going to be your favorite EQ, your favorite compressor. And these are things that you take 10 minutes to set up once, and then you go over here. Okay, once you've set all this up how you like it, save as template. So we can just say Brendo template. And then you can put it in a category. So I'm just going to put music. Okay. And then of course you can select a location if you want, but we're just going to keep it all within here and then hit okay. So now if we were to get out of Pro Tools and then we get back in, then we can click right here and do create session from template. And then we go to our category that we put it in. So music, and there it is, Brendo template. Okay, and we hit okay. And then all you have to do is, okay, I'm going to set up this new session. So let's call it um, funnest song uh, in the funnest in the world. That's what we're going to call this new song. So it's, uh, it's okay. We're going to set this project up. It starts loading these tracks. And here we go. There's all my favorite tracks. There's my favorite reverb. There's my favorite EQs. And all of this stuff is set up. So I don't have to go in and set that up. That stuff is already done for me. It's super convenient and it will save you so much time. Try it out. You'll love it. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also sign up for the email list where I will send you exclusive content that I only send to the people on that list. And also head over to the website, itsthataudioguide.com and I will see you guys soon.